everybody, and welcome back to more Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. We're in the Tron world today, the Space Paranoids, and we're locked in the jail cell. This is a bit of a problem. <laughs> Grant, this is some place we've been taken to. Also, I'm pretty sure you triggered this last time. <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, to get out, it's the easiest thing. All we have to do is smack the door of our keyboard and pick up the clusters, and then use freeze on it. Easiest mini game in Kingdom Hearts 2. Master Control, why not just derez Tron? I still haven't located the password to the data space. What about a logic probe? With all your processing power? Out of the question. The current environment hampers the processing power needed for such an analysis. You're dismissed, Sark. Stop any remaining anomalies in the system, or else... End of line. Acknowledged. Interesting. Hey, Tron. <laughs> Remarkable. It seems you have some unique functions. I'll go with you to the canyon. You'll need someone who can interface with the energy core, right? If you say so. Thanks, Tron. We get a new party member, Tron, except Tron, right now, kind of sucks. So we're not going to have him in our party just yet. But uh, we'd rather have Donald and Goofy. Yeah, Tron literally only has three abilities. Jackpot increases the drop rate of money and HP and MP orbs. Uh, item boost and then auto change. Not very good, but Tron, if you have any um, items, you got a potion and an ether. I'll take those. Identity disc, attack enemies from afar. That's his only weapon. Normally I'm all for getting the new party members in our party, but Tron gets more abilities later on in this world. That's when we'll actually equip him. Pit cell area map. And the mithril crystal. Wish it had the PS2 music. PS3 music just is not as good. Actually, a lot of the remastered soundtrack I think is not as good as the original soundtrack. With some obvious exceptions, like the Pirates of the Caribbean battle music is way better than this. Welcome to the canyon. <laughs> the MCP thing rules this world, right? <laughs> then we better search the energy core before it finds us out. Good, Goofy. Frost Crystal. According to Tron, this is kind of like a junkyard. I wonder what all the junk in here used to be. <laughs> that thing in the center is the energy core. Let's try accessing it. We may be able to find parts to reboot from all that junk. Well, there's more chests here. So we're gonna get those first. That leads to a place we can't reach yet. Same move over here. Mithril gem, nice. Daylight Puzzle Piece. This is another easy minigame. Access computer. There's a missing cube. This is the energy core. Find the real parts. So a bunch of cubes are gonna fall down. One of them's gonna glow. That one. We gotta follow it around, keep an eye on it. And now we find the real one. It's over. Um, excuse me, I hit the real one. It's been Sora locked onto the wrong one. Alright. Oh, that was my bad. What? I challenge that. All right. Hit this, not any of the others. Thank you, Sora. Clear. That should have happened on the first attempt. You can also use magic on it. Which, in hindsight, that's what I should have done. Wow. 
Well, that wasn't a very secure gate now, was it? Mission accomplished? Yes. Now, will you do something for me? You got it. Don't you want to hear what it is first? You helped us! Now it's our turn! You guys really are users. Your actions are totally illogical. Let's hurry back to the pit cell. Where is that again? That's the sector where we met. Roger. I do, I do like the new graphics soar against in this world. Back to the pit cell. There are no enemies around, which is kind of interesting. But there will be later. Let's access the computer. And now we can go back to the research lab. So, what did you want us to do? Find my user. He'll give you the password to access the DTD. You bet! So, um... DTD is the name my user gave to the data space. Copies of all the original system programs are stored there, along with anything that's sensitive or restricted. Is there stuff about the Heartless or Organization 13? Hmm, most likely. A number of my functions were appropriated when I last took on the MCP. That's why I need the password. If I can get inside the DTD, I can access my original backup program and restore all my functions. Then I'll be able to put this system back the way it was before the MCP got control and changed everything. The way it was supposed to be. A free system for you, the users. Hmm. Yeah, users forever. Gee, Tron, ain't the MCP one of those programs too? Do you know who it was who made it? Actually, I don't know. Okay, we'll just have to find your user and ask him. What's his name? You mean you don't know? <laughs> My user is the user of this system. Ansem the Wise. Uh-oh. <laughs> that might be a problem. <laughs> we killed him. The MCP's onto us. I'll keep this terminal up and running. You better exit the system now. Sure, but Tron, Ansem is... Okay. You're good to go. Hurry! <laughs> uh, Tron, Ansem told us to SUBMIT, and so we, uh, we killed him. <laughs> that might be a problem, Sora. <laughs> hey, Leon's messing with the keyboard, but he didn't get teleported in. What's up with that? There's a world inside this computer where these, um, programs live, and... So in other words, Ansem's research data is off-limits unless we know the password. I think that's right. But you've already defeated Ansem. Gorsh, maybe he will never find the password. That means... This is all a wild goose chase. You're chasing what now? It's Tifa. Well, well, a hidden room. Guess I better take another look around. Not around the hidden room, around the room with the hidden room. <laughs> she just won't give up. And neither will we! 
But come on, we've got to look for that password. Right, we made a promise to Tron. <laughs> mirror, mirror on the wall. <laughs> What's the Excuse password? Me? How strong is Tifa? What you gonna do? Wait, did I see Tron on the wall? Yes, I did. What's this doodle? Hello, man. Security, Tron. Got you. Looks like a diagram or something. Got you. Thomas. Oh, D T D. D T D. D What's up? Look at this. This must be the data space. The D T D. See? The door to darkness. What do you know? <laughs> no wonder Ansem used that as his password. <laughs> Guess what the password is? Darkness! <laughs> Access granted. Well, that was easy. But that still leaves the password. Oh. Say, fellas, did somebody mention the door to darkness? Oh, hey, Mickey. Nice disguise. Your Majesty. <laughs> I can't let anybody know who I really am. <laughs> uh, it's pretty obvious. <laughs> Aw, group hug. <laughs> Long time no see. Shh. The organization might be listening. If they're listening, they'll still be able to hear us when we whisper. You mentioned the door to darkness? Oh, yes, sir. You see, we're looking for the secret password. Password? I guess you mean like a code. Y yes, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> we were talking about you know, like that kind of password, as if there's any other type. Well, the door to darkness can only be opened by the seven princesses. There's Snow White, Jasmine, and Belle. Of course. <laughs> but which one is the password? What are you trying to do? With that password, we can get access to Ansem's research data. So that means you might be able to find out where he is. Uh, stop joking around, Your Majesty. We already defeated Ansem. You know that. Well, looks like I've got a lot of explaining to do. Well, this is your Majesty. Okay, but first I've got a question. Hey, isn't Tron waiting for you guys? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. If those Heartless attack, I'll stand and fight with everybody here. Yeah, we will too. Then let's talk more later. That's a promise. I'll see you when you get back. All right, sounds good, Mickey. <laughs> oh, one more thing. Let me give your clothes some new power, Sora. <laughs> really? <laughs> awesome. I love clothes. You bet. You've done so much, just consider it a thank you present. Thanks, Your Majesty. We're heading off to see Tron now, so wait here for us, okay? I will, Sora. And remember, be careful. And we unlock the new drive form, Master Form. With the help of two friends, use the drive command to change into Master Form. So this is a very interesting drive form. So instead of needing a specific party member like Donald or Goofy, we just need any two party members to be alive. And we can enter Master Form. It's kind of taking the best aspects of both Valor Form and Wisdom Form. So we dual wield Keyblades in this form, much like Valor Form. And like Wisdom Form, we can cast magic while moving and our magic is massively powered up. It doesn't reload as fast as it does in Wisdom Form though, so that's a bit annoying. Also, the thing about, with the thing about Master Form is that 
every single one of your physical combos will be an air combo. Like, you can't do ground combos. Which doesn't sound very useful, but, like, you basically will just hover when you're doing a ground combo, so... You can still attack enemies on the ground, it's just... Eh, ground combo boost and ground combo plus won't do anything in Master Form, but air combo boost and air combo plus are great. Master Form. Master Strike unleashes powerful finishing combo move that successfully attacks a single target. Disaster unleashes a powerful finishing combo that draws in several enemies and successfully deals damage. Yep, powers up magic. And then the growth ability for Master Form is Aerial Dodge. You can press circle in midair to do a double jump. And that's a really fast jump, so you can use it to dodge enemy attacks as well, hence the name Aerial Dodge. Sync Blade, equip a Keyblade in each hand. Yep, the ability, the ability of the left hand Keyblade becomes available as well. Allows you to uh, uh, combo magic endlessly, so that there are there will be no magic finishers when you're in Master Form. You just continually can uh, cast it over and over again, which is nice. Also, you get some air combo pluses when you're in this form, which is nice as well. And we get some more draw abilities when we're in this form. Oh, and we do get another MP Hastera. So it refill our magic will refill slightly faster when we're in Master Form, but not as fast as when we're in Wisdom Form. Uh, to level up Master Form, what you have to do is you need to pick up Drive Orbs while you're in Master Form. It's very strange. You don't have to kill enemies or attack enemies. You literally just have to pick up Drive Orbs that enemies drop. And sometimes that uh, random objects will drop as well. So this can actually be a t uh, tricky one to level up. Anyhow, if we go to this, uh, defaults our kingdom key for master form. I don't like that. Let's put on... I'm going to put on circle of life for valor form and put on star seeker for master form. Actually, no, I'm going to put on oath keeper for the valor form and star seeker for master form because that'll mean our master form combos will be super long. And with the hero's crest air combo boost, our finishers will be incredibly powerful as well. Also, Master Form takes four Drive Gauges in order to enter, unlike the three that uh, Valor Form and Wisdom Form need. So Limit Form and Master Form both need four Drive Gauges in order to enter. These are notes about yeah, the hearts of all worlds. Yeah, that's fine. Also, this chest wasn't here before. We open this chest and we get the Ukulele Charm. With the help of two friends, use the Summon Command to call forth Stitch for a helping hand. So you'll remember we saw Stitch scurrying around in here. And he was kind of the one who teleported us in the Tron computer. We now get him as a summon, and he is easily the best summon in the entire game. Remember how good Bambi was in Kingdom Hearts 1? Stitch is a better version of Bambi. <laughs> he basically allows you to cast magic endlessly while he's around because... You know what, I'll just save Stitch for when we actually use him. You found the person you were looking for? I'm glad to hear he's safe. I guess if you look around him long enough, you're bound to find your man. Hmm, where should I look next? Leave this to us. You just concentrate on the data. Use the password and work with Tron to free that DTD data. Okay. We're going back to the pit cell, I guess. how Ansem built, like, an entire laser just to beam people into cyberspace. How much money would that have cost? We're back in jail. Gorsh, I wonder where Tron is. Don't touch that! Huh? Goofy? Oh, uh, I didn't do it. And here comes the most annoying part of the whole world. The only part of the world I actually dislike, to be perfectly honest. Well, I didn't touch nothing. Welcome to the game grid. Game grid? That's right. You've been chosen to play a few games. Lose, and you will be subject to immediate de-resolution. Win? Well... <laughs> no one wins. You're not gonna play your games. You have no choice. Well then, get on with it. Here comes the light cycle section, which is annoying even on standard mode. On critical mode, it's really difficult because you will die in free hits and you can't heal. Alright, light cycle. You can turn left with L1 and L2. You turn right with L R1 or R2. 
Uh, turn when left or right appears on the screen. Use the left stick to strafe left and right. There are three types of action commands. You can attack with A, where you swing your keyblade at nearby enemies, charge where you break enemy guards, and then guard where you can break enemy attacks. We aren't really going to use the X button to attack. We're going to be using the charge and guard commands primarily. Yeah, welcome to the light cycle. Not a very fun game. Defeat five of the Heartless. Yeah, so we're going to do this attack here. Uh, the different colored enemies here do different things. The green ones can shield, the yellow ones will attack you, the blue ones can't really do anything, and then the white ones can do any of the attacks. We're also starting to see some of the enemies in this world. All right! It looks like we can escape through there! All right. <laughs> Better get on that fast. Now we gotta do part two of the light cycle, which is much, much longer. Clear the enemies and head for the goal. Unfortunately, yeah, we can't just enter the goal. Yeah, don't be afraid to use the shield button. So, like, that's the regular attack. You can go left or right here, it doesn't matter. But regular attack won't work on the green guys, because they'll be shielding. The yellow and white enemies are the most dangerous. Take out the yellow ones first. Or the white ones. That also works. Okay, so the blue ones can attack you, but they won't charge at you. I think I took the long way. You can use the shield to just phase through the pillars. Oh man, don't hit the wall. Yeah, I think I definitely took the long way. Mirror. Here we are at the end. Okay, there are two devastators at the end here. Make sure you shield to guard their attacks, otherwise you can just die at the end. Okay, wow, we we did the light cycle on the first try. That's that's very difficult. That's way harder than I made it look. Tron! Is he dead? No, he's not. Okay, that's good. Can programs die? You can kill them, but then you can reboot them. Uh, I don't understand. Why are you here? We came to give you the password. Why didn't you just transmit the data? <laughs> I love how hey, are you okay? I love how when Tron's like, why didn't you just transmit the data? It looks like he's face palming, even though he's holding his head because he has a headache. <laughs> I'll be alright. Once we access the DTD. <laughs> Sora, don't you know anything about computers? Nope! Grew up on a deserted island. Great. <laughs> now we get Tron in our party, but again, he still sucks, so we're not actually having him in our party. Ooh, Frost Crystal. <laughs> Very nice ukulele charm. We will be using Stitch in this world. Actually, we'll be using him pretty soon. The MCP is originally a data acquisition program. If you hadn't rescued me, it would have stolen all my data. Well, that's not good. Hey, this is the room we were locked in when we first came here, right? We opened the lock by gathering up data, didn't we? Why doesn't Sark re-teleport us to the game grid if he's like, Wait, they weren't allowed to win. <laughs> Apparently, we can get to the data space from the canyon. The shining red wall should show us the way. Oh, wait, I just realized something. Uh, do I have a drive recovery? Oh, I do. Cool. I'm using one of those. Because I want free drive for an upcoming fight so I can actually use Stitch. Alright, hand over all synthesis materials. We get a Serenity Gem for completing the collection. We can't make any key boost. We can't make anything new there. Still can only make those. Alright, cool. Okay, magnet is set to circle, that's right. These are new enemies, these are strafers. They're only found in the Tron world. They drop lightning crystals if you can defeat them, which is amazing, considering lightning crystals are pretty valuable synthesis materials. And they're very easy, they really can't do a whole lot. Yeah. 
I actually forgot regular old shadows appeared in this world. I thought there were only the special Tron Heartless, which are like computers. Strafers? Please keep giving me lightning crystals. I appreciate that. I also love bright crystals. So now we can go over here. Ooh, some, <laughs> some digital soldiers. Although they're no different from regular soldiers. Way to go, Goofy. Oh, wait. Okay, so one thing I want to do just for this upcoming fight, uh, not Goofy, Donald. Uh, I'm going to have him unequipped here because for this upcoming fight, we can get a lot of experience by making use of the experience boost ability. Basically, this next fight, uh, uh, infinite enemies are going to spawn at one point. And I'm going to summon Stitch, basically. And he'll keep my MP filled up. Uh, Donald and Goofy won't really be able to do anything. And if I'm at under 50% HP, I get double experience, and the enemies don't drop HP orbs. And the enemies are easy! <laughs> so we're going to get a lot of the EXP this way. I should have taken some damage back there. Oh well, let's access the computer. Alright, what's the password? Well, Bell Snow White! Aurora, uh, Aurora, Alice, Jasmine, Cinderella? Kyrie. Kyrie, got it. <laughs> I hope I spelled all those right, and I hope I put them in the right order. Apparently, you need seven passwords, not just one. Now switching DTD over from hibernation to active mode. The process will take some time. Please enjoy a game while the process is running. Oh no! Not another game! No, it's the DTD's final security routine. This isn't a game. Stay focused! So now we basically get a whole bunch of strafers that appear. Alright, I'm actually going to go out of my way to try to take damage. Hopefully my party members won't screw things up. Because we do have a limited amount of time. Alright, cool. Thank you for attacking me. We're going to use the clusters uh, that we collected on one of those monitors. Once we get enough clusters for another monitor, we can use it on them. One. Donald, stop screwing things up. Stop doing good stuff, Donald. You're being annoying. Four. Four. I'm going to just summon Stitch right now. So Stitch as a summon is... He is very different from other summons. He, as you can see, he's not actually on the battlefield. He's climbing on the screen itself. And he can do a couple things. If he licks Sora's face... He'll completely refill all of our MP. Um, he can play his ukulele, and all the enemies will be stunned and staggered in place, and they'll drop normally HP orbs for us, but in this battle, they'll, he'll, they'll drop clusters for us. And he can also parry enemy attacks by shooting his blaster. So he's really, really good. Now we're going to use a bunch of magnets. <laughs> As you can see, we are... Well, doggone it! I would... Stitch, knock it off. I didn't mean to use a potion there. I forgot I remapped the magnet button. Stop the monitor. I will once I get take some more damage. Stitch, stop doing good things. Stitch, knock it off! Stitch! Forget this, I'm gonna lose on purpose. Also, you can do the Ohana finisher. I'll show that off. <laughs> so we can use ukulele with a square to, again, make them drop stuff. It's not a very good finisher. I'm just gonna run out of time. Or die. Honestly, yeah, I'm just gonna die. Because we just screwed this up. Or no, I didn't screw Well, I kind of screwed it up by using a potion. Stitch and Donald screwed up. Oh, wait. I've got a better idea. 
what I can do is I can set my party member. So what you can do is if you go to, not config, um, status. No, not status. Customize. You can go to customize your party members. You can choose special attacks. So technic attack means that they fight with their individual techniques. I'm going to set them all to Sora attack, where that is uh, basically if Sora attacks, they'll attack. If I don't attack, they won't attack. I'm gonna do that so they won't be beating up the enemy so I can get down to critical HP faster. There's a whole bunch of different uh, ways you can set their AI, but right now, yeah, we're all just gonna wait here. One more hit will do it. There we go. Okay. So now we will get even more than 76. Yeah, we're getting 152 instead, which is way it's twice as much. So we should be leveling up a lot faster now. Alright, here's the second one. Yeah, there we are. Drive boost. Increase. Probably gotta level up. Oh, yeah. This is what I want to see. Did you like my face, please? I would very much appreciate it. Did you please look my face so I can get my MP back? Please and thank you, Stitch. Stitch, stop being a butt and fulfill my MP for me. Thank you. Sometimes Stitch won't be cooperative. But yeah, this is just a nice convenient way for us to level grind, though, a good amount. Because infinite easy enemies spawn, and you can't get HP back, really, unless you voluntarily go out of way to do that. Come on, Stitch, be a pal. Thank you, Stitch, you're a pal. I don't have to grind here. I'm plenty strong already, but I want to grind here. It's such a convenient spot. And it gives me a chance to show off Stitch. Alright, and it's been fun, but we gotta shut off the last clusters. There we go. That went that went much better that time. I failed the first two times, but that time I got quite a few level ups. Thank you, experience boost. I'm as good as new. All my functions have been restored. Oh boy! Finally, I have full access to the DTD. My takeover of the system is now complete. I might have anticipated such a simple password. How is that a simple one? What's this? An emergency destruct program for the town. Let's see how it performs. How could you even make that? Are there just bombs planted everywhere in the town? <laughs> let's, let's blow them all up. <laughs> no. Program, you changed the password. <laughs> there, that should buy us some time. <laughs> you changed the password, how could you? <laughs> the MCP's loading a hostile program into the I.O. tower. What do we do? We've got to protect the user town. Let's head to the tower. Sounds good. <laughs> Tron learned a new ability. Um, no, Tron learned like 10 new abilities. <laughs> Now Tron is actually a really good party member. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, back to customize. I'm gonna set you both back to Technic Attack. Donald, I'm gonna re-equip all of your spells. <laughs> Thank you! All right, abilities. Goof, no, not Goofy, Donald. Yeah, you can use that freely, you can use that freely. Still only use that in emergencies. Ooh, Thunder Boost, I kinda want you to equip that, Donald. Equip that more than Fire Boost. All right, Tron. Okay, not 10, but he has a, a good amount of new abilities now. Scouting Disc releases a disc that automatically finds and attacks an enemy. Costs 10 MP. Yep, you can use that freely. Pulsing Thunder releases electricity to attack nearby enemies. Costs 10 MP. Use that freely. Sure. Complete complement. 
Uh, a limit command that unleashes Tron and Sora's joint attack setup consumes all of Sora's MP. That's a very nice limit that I want us to use. And I'm going to turn off auto limit as I don't like the auto abilities. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Yeah, I don't need any of these. Combo plus, no thanks. Drive boost allows for greater restoration of drive gauge during MP recharge. Heck yes. And that's my only new ability. Yeah, Stitch, uh, he's very good. <laughs> I disengaged the security program. <laughs> now we lift. Now the lift to the I.O. tower should work. Hurry, the lift's straight ahead out of this room. The outside's already bad enough with Harkness and nobodies. Any more problems and the town will fall apart. Especially since Ansem planted bombs all over it. <laughs> <laughs> we can extract the data later. Let's go to the I.O. tower. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're Tron, I'm back in the game. Hey, Tron. It's over. Hi, right, Tron. Tron's a good party member. All right, off to the I.O. tower. Oh boy, Emerald Blues are back. Thankfully, we don't have to deal with them. Ooh, a power crystal. This is where we start getting the crystals. What's in here? The simulation hanger. Okay, these are new enemies. These are magnum loaders. For you, we saw these guys on the uh, light cycle area, but now they're not on the light cycle. They're red ones. They can be kind of annoying to deal with. Uh, they can do fast attacks. They're not too bad, though. And they dropped lucid gems for us. And this is a Devastator, one of the most uh, dangerous enemies in the common enemies in the game. He can rack up a lot of damage. I'd put him up there with the Berserker Nobodies and the Hot Rods from Timeless River as far as dangerous and annoying enemies to deal with are. Focus on them and you can use Magnet to pull them in, that really helps out. Alright, we're in the communications room and we're actually basically at the end of the world. Space Paranoids is a pretty short world. They expect you to die a lot on the light cycle. It must be total chaos outside. I think there's gonna be trouble inside, too! Alright, well there's a couple of chests in here. Let's open them up. This chest contains the Gaia Belt, greatly increases defense, as well as thunder and dark resistance. Uh, I like that. Uh, over the Midnight Anklet? Yeah, over the Midnight Anklet. It's a better version of that. Uh, Ooh, that's a better version. Yes, you can equip that, Donald. Alright, that, that looks pretty good. Oh, there you go, Goofy. You can wear the Midnight Anklet. And then this one, I believe, has the map of the I.O. Tower. Yep, I.O. Tower map. <laughs> we can go back to Hollow Bastion through that terminal gizmo, but right now we need to help Tron. We just got here. Why do we have to leave? We gotta stop him before they get out. Hurry to the next room. Let's get him there. Why do we have to go back to the... We were just in there. We walked in here, and then we have to walk back to get the boss fight. More dangerous programs are sure to follow. To fight these guys, we should delete the enemy data to limit their movements. Okay. Oh, one other thing I'm going to do. Customize. I'm sick of having Magnet on uh, Circle. I'm going to put Thunder on Circle. There's one thing I'll say. I'm going to do Master Form in this fight to show it off, and Master Form Fundaga, or Master Form Thunder is really good. Also, one thing I don't think I mentioned, every time you get a new drive form, maybe not limit form, but now that we got master form, our next few times we enter a drive form, we are guaranteed to not enter anti-form, which is nice. And this is a very unique boss. This is the hostile program. It is not a heartless or a nobody or any other I'm type disappointed of in you, program. Like common enemy. Why do you insist on allying with these selfish users? Because... I want to help them. 
Something written into my code commands me to do what is right. Really? And what command would that be? I can't really say for sure. Friends, they help each other, that's all. Uh-oh, look out! Also, I love this boss music. Yeah, this is seriously one of the only Kingdom Hearts boss fights where the boss is not a Heartless, it's not a nobody, it's not a Disney villain, and it's not, like, a human villain. It is its own unique entity. It's just an evil program. Alright. I think we're going to start by doing Tron's setup. Uh, limit? So this is a good one. So we can basically create these, uh, clusters here. If we mash triangle, we can just make a bunch of them, and then the reprogram finisher will just send them all after the enemies. Keep them in place. Uh, these guys drop clusters as well. Once we pick up enough, we can actually freeze the hospital program. Go. Now we're gonna enter master form. And yeah, we become yellow and we can just destroy them with aerial combos. It's amazing. Let's freeze him again before we can launch out the really annoying attacks. Okay, Thunder's not as good in Master Form as I thought. We have to upgrade it to, like, Thundara and Thundara. We want that. Hi, dude. Let's use Tron's Limit again. That <laughs> worked really well. He drops us a lot of clusters when we do that. Yeah, I recommend just spamming Triangle for Tron's Limit and then going into the Limit Finisher. Just pressing the X button basically sends out the triangle clusters you've made with the triangle button early, and I like sending them all out at the end. Alright, let's freeze him. Goodbye. Goodbye, hostile program. We get a new drive gauge, and we get some new abilities. So now we have five drive gauges. Very nice. That's a fun boss. I like that one. We also He also spent like 90% of the battle frozen. He has some very powerful, very nasty attacks if you leave him unfrozen. We saw the beginnings of a few of them. Unfortunately, we haven't leveled up Master Form at all. I kind of want to do that. I really owe you one. With all my functions up and running, I think I've got a chance of getting system control away from the MCP. Now, I'd better get to work. It's what my user would want. What Ansem would want. <laughs> I think Ansem would want you to SUBMIT! <laughs> Listen, Tron. We didn't get the password from Ansem. We just sort of found it, back in the user world. By accident. And one more thing. Ansem, he was our enemy. I mean, he still is. I guess. Well, actually, he's my enemy, too. What do you mean? Ansem took Encom's original system and customized it for his own use. I was part of the original system, and Ansem modified me, too. So, that makes him my user. But Ansem is also the one who brought back the MCP. The Ansem I first knew wouldn't do that. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. That's okay, but now I really don't get it. I don't understand it either. He just kept talking about darkness and submitting. It's very weird. But I think users like you are going to be the ones who will finally figure it out. You have the ability to take illogical routes and still arrive at the answers you seek. Now go, before the MCP starts acting up again. Thanks, Tron. <laughs> I 
I'll stay here and make sure the MCP doesn't cause any more trouble. The user world is in trouble. You should hurry back through this terminal. Sounds good. Let's go back to the research lab. Any data you need from the DTD can be accessed directly through my user's terminal. I'll keep a dedicated access channel open for you. I changed the password, so you won't have to worry about the MCP for a while. Access channel? <laughs> I knew you'd ask. It's a very important link between our worlds. It's how we stay connected. You, my friends, are the new password. Oh yeah! <laughs> Thanks, I've always John. wanted to be a password. Care. You too. And give my best to the users. And we get a new Keyblade, the Photon Debugger. Increases damage done with Thunder-based attacks by 20%. And I'll be honest, this is one of the, like, the worst Keyblades in the whole game. Its stats are nowhere near as good as some of the other ones we have, and... Honestly, Thunder's not that great of a spell in this. Like, for Master Form, once you get, like, Fundaga, it's really good. But a 20% boost isn't that great. So we probably... This is a Keyblade we will probably never use. But hey, feel free to try it out yourself if you want. I just don't really see a use for it. Well, that's that. Look. Ah, boy! Tron, hang in there. <laughs> That's cute. So, where do we start? I know. Let's access the DTD. The king's checking the situation in town. He'll be back soon, so don't worry. Hey, look. It's asking for a password. That's easy. It's Sora. <laughs> Goofy. That's. To the point. In that order. Well, that did it. We're in. Oh wait, I didn't capitalize the gene, Goofy. Now it's teleporting me to Tron's world. No! I have to go into town. Need to see what that last shakeup did. You're not gonna check out the data? It wasn't exactly easy to get. I'm coming right back. Hey, Sora. Why don't you get started unloading the data and copying it down? It's just a few keystrokes. Easy, right? No, he doesn't know anything about computers. He doesn't know about control C or control V. He's gonna push Alt F4. <laughs> All right, well, we could access the computer, but we're gonna do that next time because that's gonna lead into a, a pretty lengthy cutscene and we're out of time. So thanks for watching everybody and I hope you tune in next time, which is where <laughs> That's where the plot of the game starts getting needlessly complicated. But yeah, look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless. How many level ups did I get? Oh my gosh, I'm at level 30 now. I got three level ups this episode, probably all for that one battle.